Hello everyone. <coughs> Hope all you are doing well in, in this situation. Uh, we started discussing in the last videos on the concept of electrogrammetry. So, okay, well, who myself you know well, Dr. Anil Terdal. So, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Chemistry, JSS Art Science and Commerce College, Gokak. So, we started discussion on the electrogrammetry. So, starting with the introduction, classification of gravimetry. So how the gravimetric techniques are classified and further in in the classification we specifically uh, we have discussed on electrogrammetric technique so in that basics principle of electrogrammetry instrumentation of electrogrammetry further we have discussed the uh, specific application of the electrogrammetry that is determination of copper plus two ions by using electrogrammetric technique so today we will discuss a little more uh, like uh, general applications of electrogrammetry so this is not that much important but you should know so we know well about electrogrammetry we know in detail uh, uh, we have in detail discussion on electrogrammetry concept so today we will discuss some applications of some general applications of electrogrammetric technique well the first one is as we know it's a, a, con, a quantitative analytical technique as it is uh, measuring the weight of the metal based analytes so how we are doing that we you know well so how we can do it uh, so we can say uh, it is widely applied for the determination for the quantitative determination of analytes uh, specifically metal based analyzed so here in this analysis can be done very accurately and precisely weighing is more uh, weighing is more precise and which is only measurement operation can control degree of completion for the deposition reaction by proper choice of potential some degree of selectivity using potential so here the quantitative analysis can be done more precisely and more accurately just by weighing uh, just by weighing the analytes so this can be done by uh, by using or selecting some potential so where we can achieve some degree of selectivity so this technique that is electrogrammetry technique can be used for the separation this is the second mo second uh, most important application of electrogrammetry where this technique is used for the separation so how it can be done separation of one species from another in a solution by selectively plating it out and removing it from the solution for example let's say for example we have a solution which containing copper plus two ions and nickel plus two ions so the reduction potential of copper plus two ions is different and the reduction potential of nickel plus two ion is different the moment to apply the potential the reduction potential of copper and the apply it, apply that then what will happen the plating of the copper plus two ions taking place first and then remove that electrode from the solution so the only metal ions which is plating on the surface of the electrode is copper so in this way we can easily separate out the mixtures from the mixtures we can easily separate out the metal ions specifically metal ion based uh, mixtures so this can be done the separations can be done by using electrogrammetric technique this method is widely used to remove interferences particularly in electrochemical methods so inter there are many interferences in electrochemical electroanalytical methods so this method can be used to separate out the interferences so in general this method is used for the separation so similarly the third wide application is pre-concentration so pre-concentration meaning so it is meaning for example we have one milligram of substance in one liter of solution so if you want to make it concentrate if you want to make it pre-concentration so what you will have to do is you just need to apply this method to make it pre-concentration so this means one milligram of metal based on light in one liter solution so how do you do this pre-concentration or how do you make it concentrated solution so either you will have to 
remove the water by the evaporation process or you will have to use some of the other technique where you can take out all the one milligram of unlight metal based unlight so unlight from the one liter solution so here the electrogrammetric technique is one of the most widely used technique for the pre concentration so it can be you just take a one liter one liter unlight solution which containing one milligram of the metal based run light you just put a electrodes a specific electrodes like two electrodes so we have already discussed how we can this can be done in uh, copper plus two ion determination so very simple just we need to put a electrodes there and apply the potential for example if it is a copper then apply the reduction potential of copper so you just need to uh, electrolyze the solution by putting the two electrodes and applying some potential so what will happen all the one milligram of copper to let's say uh, analyte solution is depositing onto the electrode so once it happens what will happen so whatever the one milligram of metal ions present in one liter of solution is depositing on the surface or reducing on the surface of the electrode so once the deposition is complete take out the electrode so on that electrode we have a, a metal based run light which is of one milligram and then take it out the electrode and whatever the solution is free from the analyte once it is free from the analyte that is one milligram of the analyte so whatever the analyte which is there that is one milligram is depositing on the surface of the electrode just by applying the reduction potential of that analyte so once we have this again take out the electrode and again put this electrode and re-oxidize it just by uh, applying the oxidizing potential so before once if you want to make it reduce and if you want to make it to sit on the electrode we just need to apply the reduction potential if you want to make it elute or if you want to make it H on the surface of the metal on the surface of the electrode then what you need to do is you just need to re-oxidize the metals back to a small volume of the solution so you take out the electrode from the one liter and then put it to one ml and then apply the oxidizing potential and whatever the uh, whatever the metals which is uh, deposited on the surface of the electrode and that will be going back into the solution that is one ml of the solution so this is how we can do the pre concentration so plating out metals from a large volume of a solution onto a small electrode effectively increases their concentration can also re oxidize metals back into a small volume of solution for example one ml and the ratio of the volumes gives pre concentration factor so can also use other methods for the analysis of metals on solid electrode surface for example AA technique ICP techniques XRF techniques and XPX techniques these are the advanced techniques where we can use uh, analysis of the analytes which, which are present on the surface of the electrode so if you, may, if you want to each back the metals analytes metal based analyze to back into the solution so how do you confirm all the metal is going to reoxidize? So this can be confirmed by using the advanced technique like uh, AA, AC, ICP, XRF and XPS techniques are used for the determination of metal based on lights on the surface of the electrode. So anyway, so it's very important to make the pre-concentration of the metals or metal based on lights. So electrogrammetric technique is used for this process so next is electrosynthesis this is very important so we just need to apply the potential so for example we have a organic based moiety let's say for example uh, quinoline moieties so we have OH groups there if we want to make oxidation or reduction to this moiety we can easily apply the potential of that oxidation or reduction and then synthesize the uh, new product so this is a green synthesis we can say because we are not using any uh, solvent based solvent ba sol solvents or we can say other uh, anal uh, other reactants or we can say reagents in general so in the electrosynthesis 
we are just applying the potential to that uh, a particular organic moiety and then we are oxidizing it or reducing the same moiety to make it re react with the other reactant without the need of reagents or solvents so here electrosynthesis is used by organic chemists to perform oxidation or reduction reactions at bench scale take advantage of ability to control potential and produce any oxidizing or reducing strength desired so the last one the last uh, application of electrogrammetry is purific purification to remove trace metals from reagents by plating them out of solution onto a large mercury based pool that is mercury pool electrode we can say this cell can also be used for the electrosynthesis etc so in the in in case of purification also if you want to remove trace metals present in the uh, required solution so you just need to put the electrode and apply the potential take out all the trace metals present in the solution so where we can use mercury pool as electrode so this can be also used this electrode can be used or the purification process can also be used in the electrosynthesis so here are the some these are the some applications we have discussed here uh, if you have any questions regarding the electrogrammetric concept you please text me in the comment box i will uh, i will definitely attend to that so if you have any questions you can call me uh, this is especially for my students uh, well so this is all about the electrogrammetry uh, uh, i will send you some of the questions regarding this electrogrammetry and just, you just send it to back to me and i will cross verify the answers or i will correct the answers and send you back okay thank you bye bye